the MW3 update is here for season three as of April 3rd, right? Yeah, April 3rd. And it is here and it is cool, I guess. And, you know, it's just another update. It's like season two, but um, season three. Um, well, so what's new about this update? I mean, of course, I mean, you get new content, you get new skins, you get new everything, new weapons. But um, specifically here, we are talking about the guns because the guns, we have to talk about the guns. So the guns that we got here in this gameplay that we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about the Moore Sniper Rifle and then the FJX Horrors. I don't even know if that's the right way to just actually say that, but um, yeah, we got those. The Moore's Sniper Rifle, of course, if you know this from Advanced Warfare, if you played Advanced Warfare, you already kind of know how it's set up and whatnot. The Sniper is a one shot and then you reload and then, you know, you keep doing that, but it's pretty fast, so it doesn't really take that long. But then again, like you know, if you miss the first shot, you're pretty much fucked at that point. You, you, I mean, you, you know, if you don't if you don't hit the first shot, then you're you're pretty much done unless you can get the drop on a guy again, you know, from that point. But you know, probably already took you out. But hey, anyway, but the more sniper rifle is actually kind of amazing. I'm not even gonna cap. Like I I, I hadn't played multiplayer in forever. I'm always been I'll, I'm always playing on zombies. I don't really play multiplayer like that anymore just because I'm always getting shitted on. I'm always getting, like, cheated. I feel like every time I play, like, the first one or two games or first three games, they go well. They go excellent. But then after the fourth, fifth game, I, I think Sledgehammer starts to notice that, hey, like, Mars is kind of going off. We need to kind of slow his progress down. And then they start they start cheating me, which um, I think I will show a clip in this gameplay. Um, of them cheating me because I felt like they cheated me. But anyway, let's get back to the point. The more sniper rifle. Let's talk about the more sniper rifle first. So the more sniper rifle comes in and it is actually an absolute beast. It's pretty much a one shot, one kill type of rifle. Um, here I got a little bit different setup. I don't have the regular scope. I just have like a red dot sight going on here because I wanted to get that faster bomb aim. I think also in this clip, these are the. Uh, I think these are attachments I'm using that are making the aim a lot more slower. Um, cause I was trying to make the aim slower, I was trying to make, not the aim slower, I was trying to make the aim a lot more faster, but, um, I think eventually we'll see gameplay where I change up the attachments and then I, you know, get into more of a faster kind of like shot and whatnot, but the only downfall is that it gives me a little bit more aiming sway when I'm moving and stuff like that, but it's still an excellent weapon. It is 10 out of 10, I can't even cap, I think this is one of the, one of my favorite guns to actually come to the game, to be honest, like, it's just... It's perfect. It was perfect in Advanced Warfare. I mean, if you if you were like a sniper guy in Advanced Warfare, it was perfect then. It's perfect now. It is amazing. I love it. 10 out of 10. Um, and yeah, it's it's perfect to be honest. Now, if you can get your shot on it, there's a couple shots here and there's, there's a couple of like clips here where I just thought like, hey, like I definitely got my shot. I don't even know. Like did the hitbox not even register? Like what was going on? I don't really know. It was it was kind of messing with me at one point, but that's why I want to try. That's why I wanted to equip more faster attachments to basically, hey, you know, get the get the shot off quickly. You know, aim down sight quicker because these guys are using SMGs. They're running around with also FGXs um, and whatnot. And FGX, to my point, is an excellent SMG, and you're gonna see that gameplay here as well in a second. But I want to get my shot off quicker, and you know, I I started equipping you know more faster attachments and whatnot. But it is an amazing gun in in multiplayer, ten out of ten. I I absolutely one of my favorite guns to hit the game. Um, now on the zombie side of things, the zombie side, I mean, it also comes to zombies and whatnot, which is also really cool, and I I do really appreciate that. Now, the zombies is actually kind of interesting because what it does is when you pack a punch this gun, it turns into a explosive sniper and i'm not just talking about like hey put the explosive tips or the explosive rounds on a sniper and then it just like once it shoots a zombie it impacts them no this thing is actually kind of pretty amazing when you actually pack it punch it to pack punch one it affects the zombies in a radius so if you just shoot at the ground and you're going to see in the gameplay here if you just shoot at the ground it's simply just affects zombies within a small radius but i feel like it's still a good radius i feel like it's the same radius as like the grenade launch for the most part it's really fine i'm not even gonna cap i think in in, in tier one and, and tier two it is absolutely amazing i mean I, I think at one point i was just constantly just spraying at the ground and you know just hoping for the best and i was getting the best for the most part so it it's really cool in, in zombies but the only downfall is once you get to tier three now tier three you can pack punch this thing all the way to tier three i mean not tier three you can pack and punch all the way to three i guess pack punch three 
with a legendary aether tool and it just does not do it for zombies in in in, in, in tier three it, it's actually kind of terrible now, now the attachments i have on it um i decided to get like you know a longer barrel and then i got the slug rounds and whatnot and the slug rounds made it a little bit better it, it made it okay but it wasn't you know it, it's not a gun that we use in tier three personally i think you know for a gun like this you need to just stay in tier one and tier two pretty much it, it's not it's not anything great in um in tier three but it's still nonetheless it's still a cool gun so you know if you if you're just looking for fun if you're just looking to play around in tier one or tier two definitely pick up this gun it's 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 interesting it's a explosive sniper that actually kind of acts as like a grenade launcher but it snipes and whatnot um the only now the other downfall is that if you wanted to use this thing purely just as a sniper and not have like the explosive rounds it you can't i mean once you pack a punch you, that's pretty much it you have to endure like the explosive hits on the zombies for the most part and it's 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 kind of annoying because i really wanted to use the more sniper rifle as just like a regular sniper rifle i don't really know why sledgehammer or treyarch or whoever decided to do this and to make it into an explosive round and if you work on to make an explosive round you know you could at least you know made it a lot more powerful i'm telling you, like in looking at the gameplay and just looking at some of the shots that i was ringing off like i mean i'm in tier three i got a i'm, I'm you know pack three either legendary the tour or epic i think most of these were i think some of these clips were epic and the other ones were legendary but i mean you've seen the shots it's like I'm not even making any type of impact on the zombies and whatnot, but you know, hey, that's cool. It's, you know, it's still, nonetheless, it's still a great gun. I think it's perfect for multiplayer. I think it's amazing for multiplayer zombies. Probably not so much. Now we flip that switch and we go and start talking about the FJX. I am in love with this weapon. Again, I had not played multiplayer in forever because I don't like multiplayer because they always be cheeny. I don't like all that cheese. you know, I don't, I don't like all that. But this gun right here, boy, I'm telling you, this is the gun you want to be playing with right now. And I don't even know if this is, I don't know if this might be like a, a Warzone meta, you know, for close, for close range. At longer ranges, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it is still SMG with, you know, they should, I think it shoots with um, 9mm rounds. Um, this thing, oh my God. I literally f almost fell in, fell back in love with multiplayer when playing with this gun because it is so fast. It does like a uh, incept amount of damage from, I, I would say from that close to medium range. I think it could use a little bit more like a damage buff, but it probably won't get that because it's already super freaking amazing. I'm like, it was so good that I think this is the gun that I've used that I've had the highest streak in multiplayer ever. And my highest streak, I think it was, um, I want to say maybe like with this gun, I think it was, I think I got up to like 15 kills without dying. And that's, that says a lot because I don't even, I, I can't even play COD anymore. Like I, I suck to be honest and I'm okay with that. But this gun made me feel like, you know, like the god that I once was at one point in Call of Duty, like the the, like the beast was back. My 15 year old self was back. And you know, with this gun, like it is um it it's it performs. It's it's amazing. I think on this in this gameplay I got a uh, I got a suppressor on, I got a heavy barrel, um, the stinning mags and then a sight. I did I wanted to the sight is really important for this gun because the, the original sights really do suck, especially like if you're playing multiplayer. Um now, initially, when I first started playing with this gun, I, I jumped right into zombies and played with it. But then I went to multiplayer. But then, you know, playing in zombies, seeing how the sight is, seeing how the, you know, the iron sights is, they're really terrible. And they cloud a bit of your, like, aimed out sight. So you really can't see anything ahead of you for the most part. But get another sight, you're going to be good to go. This thing is amazing. Absolutely 10 out of 10. I, I you know, and I cannot cap. I think that. I think Sledgehammer did it. I think Sledgehammer did their did their deeds with this season update, at least for guns. The Morse is great. This FJX is great. It is absolutely amazing. I, I I'm and I'm being so serious. The FJX is easily the best I've ever played in MW3 ever. Like the first game I jumped into, and I don't think this is the first game. Uh, I think this is maybe like second clips and stuff like that, or it might actually be the first clip because I'm starting to run out of ammo. Like, I, I, I can't even remember. I played like three games with it, and I was like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. This is like, oh my god, like what? what is this? This is this is like a godly kind of weapon. So definitely check out the FJX if you haven't already checked it out. 
absolutely a 10 out of 10 weapon in multiplayer going to zombies this game this i mean this gun also clears in zombies it's not really it's i think it's also a really solid weapon in zombies um i don't think it's anything like i say it's special because it, it does shoot fast and for you know tier three um pack three with like either legendary or epic blade um or you know tool it does pretty well for itself I, and i think it's really quick and then i think where what is it i think you get 32 rounds um, if you do the extended max, and then you get 64, or I think it's maybe 40 rounds, and then with the extended max, and then you get 80 when you pack a punch or something like that. I can't remember. It's on screen though, but it's it's another gun that's in multiplayer that's also pretty solid. Not not in multiplayer, excuse me, in zombies that's also pretty solid. And I would you know I would definitely use it if you get the chance to get the opportunity to do do so. Definitely definitely check it out now also later in this update we're supposed to begin like the battle 27 also from advanced warfare and i can't really wait for that because so let's hear me y'all did y'all thing with these with these weapons in this game and i've been i've been honestly haven't been that crazy interested in multiplayer since honestly since release i've been really on zombies because zombies has had my heart for like the longest but then, you know, again, like, I think, you know, Sledgehammer and, and, and Treyarch and, you know, whoever is in charge of zombies at this point, I think they are, unfortunately, just kind of letting zombies go. So, I, I guess I got to find, like, a new love back. I got to, find you know, go back and find my love for multiplayer again and, you know, you know play that and whatnot. But, hey, I, I, I got to give it to you guys. You guys did your, you, you guys did your number with this one. Y'all did, the, you know, I love the guns. I love the moors. I love this FJX. Absolutely 10 out of 10. There's another weapon. And it was an, a melee blade, but again, it's a melee blade. I don't really think, I mean, I don't know if we'll probably cover that. I mean, it's, it's a melee blade, so it's, you know, a melee weapon. So I don't really think we're going to even cover that. But yeah, these weapons are amazing. Definitely give them a try out. Definitely test them out. 10 out of 10. I definitely can see these being like, super meta weapons the more sniper rifle the fjx definitely fjx I, I was in love with the fjx i i can't believe it. like i played like the first game i jumped in for this with this gun in multiplayer was just, i was like oh shit. like oh my god like this shit is crazy like oh my god bro like where was this my whole life but then again i got cheated and i got really upset and i was like oh wow that sucks but but again thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like and i will see you in the next video